Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your Love Forecast Horoscope for your weekly. This is going to be for November 8th to the 14th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me or you would like to take my six week long mentorship class, all the information is in the description a box below. Or you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We are going to be talking about, first of all, the day to day, your love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. All right, and also let's move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. All right, what's that? The Cancer's Romantic Love Life for November. 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. All right, so it's going to be November 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. So here's your day to day. Let's move this up a little bit so we can get the cards a little bit more in the camera here. All right, this is your love interest feelings. This is the blockage for this week and this is the overall outcome. If the day to day is confusing at all, guys, just stick with me till the end. I'm gonna explain everything very clear cut of the overall theme of the week. We're also gonna go over your love interest feelings, the blocks, delays, and challenges in more detail. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. So there's something that you're about to get that you want it with the nine of cups energy. So let's see what the blockage is here. Could be a younger fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, or we see it could be some flirting going on. We'll have to see what that's about. Also could be talking about exploring new things, looking into new things. Okay, taking a risk here. Pages are exploratory energy. Uh, can also talk about flirting. Could also represent a person. So let's see, let's put that aside for now. Let's see what's going on with the first day here. So it looks like there's this relationship, this soulmate twin flame connection. We got the lover's card. It feels to me that there's somebody that seems like they have a lot of people around them, but their eye is only on you. And they kind of just don't even care that those people are around. They want to get your attention. And you're thinking, well, this person's not interested because they have all these people around them. So let's keep going here, Cancer. What's going to have my Cancer's romantic love life for November 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, we see that there is this new situation, fresh start here concerns about maybe even possibly naivete around the situation. Let's keep going. What's gonna happen my, you know, let's use this deck over here. What's gonna happen my Cancers? Romantic Love Life, November 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here, Cancer. Yep. See that somebody is there. There's like a patient energy. There's a little contemplation about the long term. Um, there's somebody who could be giving some kind of advice. Yeah, it's like they're seeing seeing you with value and worth here. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's keep going. What's gonna have my cancers? Romantic love life, November eighth to the fourteenth. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. There seems to be this worries and concerns and stress here. Okay, let's keep going. So definitely there's a lot of confusion here, lots of options, lots of choices here coming in with the Seven of Cups energy. Okay, let's keep going. 
this there's a person who wants to make a power move or this could be somebody that you work with here yeah we see there's something that's definitely blossoming here into a situation there's a very healing energy um, there could be concerns about reconciliation of a relationship, which is causing some worries and concerns because I saw something about a relationship. All right, let's keep going. So we got on the 10th, it seems like there's this very defeated energy. Like, should I stand up and fight for this? Should I walk away from the situation? I don't know what to do. Because there's so many things that have happened to me before. There's so much regrets from before. Okay. But this is an ideal partner. This is this is everyone. This is everything that I wanted them to be. I've manifested something here. And there's so much chemistry and passion with them. Okay. So with stress and worry, we see an apology about this passionate situation. We see, I see you as somebody who has value and worth and there's a blossoming connection here. And it's like, I realize you're my ideal partner. King of Pentacles, wow, we got the two main people cards. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so you know how the Kipper and the Lenormand and the Gypsy have main people cards? Well, in our tarot, when we get the cards of the same suit, right a king and a queen masculine feminine they're they're considered main people cards so it's interesting so this person sees you as somebody they want to be with the main person so they're coming out as very serious wanting something long term wanting to stick around there with the king of pentacles energy seeing you as somebody that they want to make the wisest decision with and it's like you're going to gain knowledge of this book card energy So this person wants to fight for this situation, wants to argue and fight about this long-term happiness, Ten of Cups energy. So there's some kind of stress and worry about this apology, reconciliation of some kind of passionate situation and wanting a long-term situation. So it seems to me that there was concerns that this maybe this person was a player, like they have a lot of options, choices, and it caused a lot of confusion in the connection. But you're realizing here by the 11th that no, this is a lot more serious. Thank you, Spirit. Confirmed that with the text there. Okay, so let's keep going. We got the Eight of Pentacles energy. Some of you guys, this is the person you work with, but there's definitely a lot of paying attention to detail, effort, work here with the Eight of Pentacles energy. And let's keep going. And it's like, I feel trapped in my thoughts. Oh my goodness, if somebody is working and they're like, oh my God, you're trapped in my thoughts. Okay. And I'm feeling sad and heartbroken here. Okay. And I want to get some kind of advice, nurturing energy. Interesting. Let's keep going. So there's a juggling about this decision or even trying to get scheduling in order, multitasking here to make this heavy decision to a pentacles energy. So we see that there is this person who is in despair about the situation. And they want to bring some kind of balance to the situation here. And so a decision is going to be made very soon. So, so let's go for, further so far. Let's just see how we're, we're, where we're coming out here on this. Okay, so the central theme here is long-term happiness is coming in for you. Okay, and we see somebody who wants to fight for the connection. They want to fight others about this connection they want to gain knowledge about the long term here. It seems like there's this motherly energy or someone's trying to give some advice here with a nurturing card. And very soon a decision is going to be made about this situation, okay? And we see there's worries and stress about this apology, this reconciliation about the passionate situation because it seemed like there was some confusion here about options or choices. And this person was like, it seemed like they had a lot of people around them Someone had a lot of people around them and it was like, uh, 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 like, oh, they're not interested in me. You know, that kind of energy there. But they are very serious about something long term here. Okay, so let's keep going. So you're getting a lot of attention here with the Six of Wands energy. And someone is concerned about losing you or some kind of loss. 
we see that there is a decision being made here by the 14th for a happy outcome, Sun card energy, or this this uh, decision is going to make you very happy, Ten of Cups energy, right? It's saying a favorable outcome is assured here. So we see worries and stress about this, apology about this, chemistry and passion, wanting long-term happiness. We see advice about this decision that has to be made about long-term happiness. Okay, let's keep going here. Yeah, because that's the love card, that there's love here. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. I'm cautious and defensive and hopeful. There's some kind of communication coming in. It was concerned that someone wasn't telling the truth. But there's a huge breakthrough about this money and finance situation and the sense of confusion and wanting to make an effort. But there was this person from before that was causing a lack of balance. And there were some secrets here about love and romance. Okay, so we see this motherly energy or this the sense of contemplation about the long term something of value and worth we see something that is blossoming something is there's an abundance of energy coming towards you uh, and this ideal partner there's a person who wants to fight for this connection because they feel heartbroken and sad wants to bring something in balance and we see this contract which could talk about justice just choice just decision marriage divorce okay so some kind of decision is being made, definitive decision, to take away the despair and the stuck energy around this situation. And we see that child card there, and we see at the bottom of the deck here, there's some indecisions in an action because of a long-term happy family and walking away. But there's this strong attraction here, a strong attachment here, and a fulfillment of desires here because this this is a romance there's a doors to romance are opening up here and it's like i want to have accomplishment here and i feel like i'm trapped in a situation and i'm listening to my intuition i want to go um have a celebration and we see someone's coming in with a very strong offer and they've been thinking about you okay so Fresh start, new opportunity, taking a leadership role lots of regret here gaining knowledge about this trapped energy and a sense of despair and this loss so you're gonna find out about it. So we see some kind of relationship here caused some confusions and there was this defeated energy. And we see King of Pentacles saying, I want to make the wisest decision based on long-term and put the effort into making this decision and this victory is coming towards you. So the, the decision is heavy, it's a heavy decision. Money, family, children, long-term, long-term decision. Okay, so let's bring it all together. Now let's see how your love interest feels about you. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of passion here. Lots of addictions, temptations, wanting to end a tough cycle. They want to talk, have a conversation about being together and this motherly energy here, maybe getting some advice about this. Or they could be seeing you as somebody they wanna be with on the long term. They've been thinking about this and feeling happy about the connection, but are worried and have a lot of self-doubt. This person wants to talk with you and they've been deeply thinking about things and they want to invest time in the connection with the patience card. So let's keep going here. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, coming back to the blockage here, this page of wands. So pages, what can they represent? They can represent children. So possibly because of there were some issues around a past relationship, it could be because somebody has a child with someone else, okay? Uh, it could be because of this potential connection, right? Is this, you know, a serious connection or is this just a, you know, potential passionate situation? So let's keep going here. Let's get more information. Is there love here, right? Heart, heart energy. And we keep going. Is my intuition right about this situation? Is this really a caring connection here? You know what, can I trust this? Okay. Let's keep going. Let's look at the overall outcome here, Cancer. Moving this out of the way. Okay, overall outcome is saying 
we got the Three of Swords. So, Three of Swords is showing that there's heartache and sadness because a decision needs to be made. And now the timing is right. So before the timing wasn't right, but the timing is right now to make this decision. There is somebody you're gonna spend some alone time with, and it looks like you're gonna get some kind of communication, letter, message, document, paperwork. And it looks like there is some kind of competition or infringing party or some kind of self-doubt. We see that there is a path opening up here and there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, and planning because of love. So love is here. And this decision is being made because there's a person that feels very sad and heartbroken about you. And they're like, it's time for me to do something about this. It's time for me to make this choice. It's time for me to fight this situation. Because there's this stuck and complacent energy and it's like, I find you very attractive. And there's a sigh of relief coming in because of this. There is this person that you're gonna reunite with. There's gonna be some good news here because the timing is gonna be right. There's this stuck, stagnant energy, feeling stuck in the middle. That's caused a lot of confusions here. And you know that there's something about this situation that your intuition's been telling you about with the High Priestess card energy. They're going to speak a truth to you. They may even travel towards you with a chariot card energy, okay? Or speak to you of travel, okay? Um, or really bring things forward because it looks like this is strong desire for movement here and a victory. Because of this airy Sagittarius Leo energy, there's strong chemistry and passion, but they're not player, right? They're trying to come in as somebody who is trying to stick around. That they're very, they're taking a leadership role here when it comes to their chemistry and their passion. Now the door opens for you guys and there's a strategy here. And there is, for you guys, there's some self-doubt or concerns that someone is lying about love. And there's, mm, mm. thank you spirit. We see that there are some issues here, but it's like this person's like, no, you have my heart. And I feel like we're destined to be together. I wanna to bring something into balance. Okay, so this is somebody that, now let's just, clarify this this is somebody you felt and i feel like before that there was something more destined about this connection wow this just seems to be the week for it i'm ser serious guys i've seen this in a couple of different readings this week um but there's something destined about this connection you felt it before but something about this connection was very complex like there was another relationship or something involved and now this person's like, no, I'm ready to make this decision. It's time and I'm going to make this choice. So it looks like there's a lot going on this week around this decision because of the love. But you're not really feeling like you can trust it because you 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 realize from the past what this person has done before. So let's give you guys some advice. OK. Can I have some advice for my cancers when it comes to the romantic love life for November 8th to the 14th? It comes to romantic love life. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, see. Okay, let's get you guys some advice here. Let's look at this. It's saying romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So get ready for romance to come into your, your romantic love life. And it says enjoy the moment. It says enjoy the moment. You really just need to get to the heart of the matter here. So it's about following your heart. There is more going on here than beats the eye. So there's going to be some romance coming in for you. And you're really going to enjoy this moment. So really appreciate this moment. But definitely you gotta get beneath the surface and there's more to the situation than beats the eye. Yep. Yeah, a tender touch can mean so much. Treasure your loved ones. Love who you are. So have the confidence, courage, and strength to know you can receive here. Wow, this is 
Cancer, you know what I heard from you guys in the comments below, okay? I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. All right, my beautiful darlings, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.